Good morning. This is Nadine Alia Wilde, and today we are going to have a lesson concerning reading comprehension skills for module C. It's suitable for 10th and 11th graders who are going to pass three and four points. So our lesson today is healthier choices, healthy and healthier. So today everybody is concerned with your health around the world and their health as well. So it's not only essential to keep healthy and safe, but also we have to make healthier choices concerning different aspects in our lives. So today we're going to talk about this issue as well. Before we go into our lesson, I want you to have a look at uh, those uh, questions over here and think. Can you identify different points of view? Can you answer multiple choice questions? Can you identify main ideas? And can you use the hearts of inferring to find answers? If yes, so this lesson is good for your practice. If no, it's not a big deal. We are going to learn how to do these things together. But before, let's have a look at the pictures here. We have five pictures to look at. Take a minute and we'll go on. Okay, while looking at these pictures, what do they represent? Yes, they represent types of food and a way of living, you're right. Can you put them into groups, categories? Yes, basically we can put them into two groups, healthy lifestyle and unhealthy lifestyle. Which goes with which? Right, the salad and the other uh, foods here, they go under healthy lifestyle doing some sport as well, goes under healthy lifestyle. Junk food, unfortunately, that's unhealthy. And snacks as well. Delicious, tasty, but also unhealthy. And the boy here, eating hamburgers and then getting obesity as well. So it's not healthy. So the report we are going to read and deal with has some new words and terms. So now we're going over them to check whether we know them or not. Obesity, it is a serious problem. Obesity, the state of being really fat, deadly, causing death, causing death. direction, way. Specialize, when you specialize in something, you concentrate on this thing to uh, empower your skills and do well in this subject. Object, refuse, be against. Restrictions, now we have restrictions on movement. We cannot go wherever we want, only like uh, 100 uh, meters or something like that. So limitations. You're not free. Consume. You can consume food. You can consume drinks. So consume is to eat, to drink, to use. Continue. Go on. Wait. Uh, I want to tell you my weight now. And choice. Option. So those are basically the terms we are going to deal with during our report. So before that, let's watch a really short a video and then discuss it. What do you think it means to be healthy? Lots of different things affect how healthy we are, including what we eat and how active we are. 
we know that all living things need food to stay alive. Have you ever wondered why this is? Can you think of a time you felt hungry? How did it make you feel? Perhaps your tummy rumbled. You felt tired or grumpy. Or maybe you found it hard to concentrate. Why do you think we feel this way when we're hungry? Well, just like a car needs fuel to make the engine work properly, our bodies need food to be able to work properly as well. Today we're going to investigate what it means to eat a balanced diet and why eating a range of different food is good for us. What is a balanced diet? Do you think it would be healthy to only ever eat chocolate? What about if you only ever ate carrots? It's very important that we eat a variety of foods and we're going to find out why. Food contains something called nutrients. We'll be learning all about nutrients, such as proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals. Eating a healthy diet means that the food we eat gives our bodies all of the nutrients they need to work properly, as well as giving us lots of energy to learn, play and grow, keeping us full of beans from morning till night. So, we're back. So, what did you see in the video? What are the topics discussed? Yes, basically, this video talks about things we should do in order to have a healthy lifestyle. There are basically two main things. The first thing is a balanced diet. Healthy food is a must, but you can also have like carbohydrates, some sweets, chocolates, but in a balanced way. So in this video, we are told that a balanced diet is essential, especially for kids to be able to move on with their academic life, with their school, and even with their playing and all of these aspects of life. In addition, you need to exercise. You need to uh, do some sports. So in order to enjoy a healthy lifestyle, you need basically to eat a balanced diet and to do some exercise and to do sports. So now we are going to do some exercises, but not physical ones now, uh, concerning and in relation to the words we just uh, went through and went over. So, basically, we have here sentences, and they have some missing words and terms. These missing words and terms, uh, you have to go back to the words we've just discussed in order to complete the sentences. I'll quickly go over the sentences, and then we'll check what we can do. We can't stop the lesson now. We can't stop. We have to. The second sentence is, it's very dangerous. It's risky to take medicine without doctor consultation. In fact, it's not only dangerous, but it can be what? It can be. The third sentence, I didn't want to say anything, but I had no. The fourth sentence, Maya is studying medicine, she wants to be a doctor, and she wants to in cardiology. Cardiology is the heart, you know. I to paying for parking in this area because I think it should be free. I don't want to pay. So, think of it. Let's go on. So, we can stop the lesson now. We have to continue, we have to go on. So continue is the third and the word. The second one 
It's very dangerous to take medicines without, without doctor consultation. In fact, it can be deadly, like corona. The third one, I didn't want to say anything, but I had no choice. I had no option. The fourth one, Maya is studying medicine, and she wants to specialize in cardiology. I object. I refuse to paying for parking in this area because I think it should be free. So hopefully you got them all right. If not, it's not a big deal. Let's move on. We have some more exercises. We have actually five sentences to do as well. Everybody is allowed to attend to the party. Everybody is welcomed. Why? Because there are no on who can attend. No one. The seventh sentence is, drinking too many sweet drinks is a major cause of what? The eighth, the doctor advised me to lose what? Turn around, you are walking in the wrong what? And the tenth and last sentence, people in the USA about 14 billion hamburgers each year. Take a minute and then we'll do them together. Ready? Let's move on. Yes, everybody is allowed to attend the party. Why? Because there are no restrictions, no limitations on who can attend. Drinking too many sweet drinks is a major cause of obesity. And the doctor advised me to lose weight. Turn around because you are walking in the wrong direction. And people in the U.S. consume about 14 billion hamburgers each year. So, are you ready for some more exercises? Now, a different type of exercise. You have to read the sentences, and then you need to circle the correct answer. You need to choose the word and term that is similar in meaning to the underlined words. So here, it seems there are no underlined words. I will underline them for you while reading. Cola is one of the most popular beverages in the world. You need to find a word that is similar to the word beverages. In the second exercise, a sentence, September 1 is a significant date for students. You need to look for a word that is similar to significant. Why? Because school starts on that day. There has been a dramatic increase in prices. So you have to look for a word similar to increase. Everything is more expensive. Hopefully, scientists will soon find a cure for this terrible disease. You need to find a word that is similar to the word disease. Wrestling is a violent sport. I think it should be banned. You need to find a word similar to ban. Take a minute. Ready? Let's go on. So, cola is one of the most popular drinks in the world. So, Drinks is the answer. It's not food. So beverages, drinks. September 1st is a significant date for students. Why? Because school starts on that day, so significant. Is it an important day or meaningless? It is an important day, so significant, important. There has been a dramatic increase in prices. 
Everything now is more expensive. So is it a change or a rise? Yes, increase is a rise in prices. The fourth sentence, hopefully scientists will soon find a cure for this terrible disease. So disease, is it a medicine? No, because cure is a medicine. But disease is an illness. Wrestling is a violent, it's a bad sport. I think it should be banned. So banned is forbidden or allowed. Allowed is the opposite word, but forbidden is the synonym for banned. Let's move on. So the report we are going to read includes also some expressions. So here, in order to uh, get introduced to these impressions, expressions we have to match the expression and the definition we think that it matches. For example, we have go too far, have a point, deal with, in favor of, and pass a law. Do you need a minute? You have it. Now, go too far. Yes, it is exaggerate. So go too far is exaggerate. Yes, you have a point. That means you are right. So have a point is be right. Deal with a problem, deal with a situation, deal with someone and deal with something is to cope with. You write, and then in favor of, it is to the advantage of, benefit. And pass a law, that means to approve a law. It's an A, not so. We'll move on. So here it is, go too far. Exaggerate, see, that's correct. Have a point is to be right, that's correct. Deal with, cop with, in favor of, to the advantage of, and pass a law is to approve a law. We'll move on. One last exercise here. You need to choose the correct or the expression that goes with each sentence. For example, I hope they will soon to protect farm animals. That's an interesting suggestion. Suggestion, I thank you, and please help me. I don't know how to with this problem. Are you the new law or are you against it? His jokes weren't funny, I think he this time. So, because we're running out of time, so let's do them together. I hope they will soon pass a law to protect farm animals. That's an interesting suggestion. I think you have a point, you're right. Please help me, why? Because I don't know how to deal with this problem. And are you in favor of the new uh, law or are you against it? So. Do you agree with the law or you don't, or you object to it? His jokes weren't funny because he went too far this time, exaggerated. So uh, now we are going on a break, but after the break, we're going to talk about a point of view. In a report, usually the writer presents more than one point of view. Quotes in the report can help you identify the different points of view. What do you mean by points of view? For example, here we have uh, this cartoon. This guy thinks it's a six, the other thinks it's a nine, and each has his 
reasons. So this is a point of view. So in this report, we are going to read after the break, we are going to uh, get to know different points of view, some of which we are going to be with and some with which we are going against. So in order to identify the different points of view, we need basically to uh, check quotations. And you know what we mean by quotations? Those are the exact words of the person and they are put into quotation marks. <clears throat> That's why uh, we know that they are the exact words of the person who said them. So sometimes these quotations represent the point of view of the sayer, the one who says them. That's why in order to be able to determine the point of view, you need to check quotations sometimes, and that's what we are going to do in a table. So now we are going on a break. After the break, we're getting back to our lesson. 10 minutes break.
we're back. Before the break, we discussed how important quotations are in reflecting points of view. So please, if you have your notebook, just copy this table and in which you are going to fill the name of people we are going to hear their points of view, the paragraph in which the quote appears, and you can copy the quote as well if you want, and then check whether uh, this quote reflects a, a being in favor of the new law or against the new law we are going to talk about in the report. So let's check our report. Over the years, the size of soft drink cups, cans, and bottles has grown larger and larger. At the time, at the same time, the size of people who drink too much of these beverages has also grown. Today, research shows that large-sized soft drinks are a significant cause of obesity. Basically, here we have no names and no quotations, so there is nothing to fill accordingly. But we have a question. What do we learn in the previous paragraph? What type of question here we have? We have a multiple choice question. So what do we learn? Do we learn the reason soft drink cups have grown in size? Why they made them bigger? The advantages of drinking soft drinks. Why is it good for you to drink cola and juice, etc.? The connection, the relation between obesity and soft drink or the diseases that are caused by obesity. So how can you answer such question? In multiple choice question, it may help to do what? To cross out the wrong answers first and then decide on the most suitable answer. Let's go back to the question. The reason soft drink cups have grown in size? No, we are not told about that. We're told that they have grown, uh, the uh, size has got bigger, but we don't know why. So it is crossed out. The advantages of drinking soft drinks? No advantages are mentioned. No benefits are mentioned. So this is out. The connection between obesity and soft drink? Yes, we are told about it. If we go here, look. Research shows that large size soft drinks are a significant cause of obesity. So here we have the large size soft drinks and obesity and we have the cause. So here is the relation or the connection. But before deciding that this is the correct answer, we need to make sure that the last one is not more suitable. The diseases that are caused by obesity, no, we're not given any diseases. So, yes, we are right. The correct answer is the connection between obesity and soft drinks. The more you drink, the fatter you get. Let's move on. Michael Bloomberg, the former mayor of the New York City, decided to deal with this problem. He passed a new law that bans the sale of large sized soft drinks in the city's restaurants and movie theaters, cinemas. It's time to face the facts. Obesity is one of America's most deadly problems, and sugary beverages are a leading cause of it, said Bloomberg. Before we move on, we need to pay attention to some pieces of information here. We're giving a name, we're given a name, and also we know who is this person, the former, the previous. Mayor of New York 
city or the municipality like we have now. He was worried about the problem of what? The problem of obesity. Okay, because this problem refers to the problem of obesity. So he did something. He passed a new law. What is this law? It bans, it forbids the sale of large size soft drink only in his city, but not all over the city, only in restaurants and movie theaters. And we have here a quotation that reflects his point of view. Remember the exercise? He says it's time to face the fact. It's time to face the fact that obesity, the problem here, is one of our most deadly problems. That's why we need to take a step. Okay, let's see the question here. Here we have a sentence completion question, and it is dealing with problem and solution. So we have a problem and solution. You need to complete the sentences. The problem here is stated for you. People are dying because they drink too many what? So you need to go back to the paragraph and check. And what is the solution? The solution is that people can no longer buy them where? So, in order to be able to uh, find the answers, you need to follow the cause and effect diagram and problem and solution uh, consequence. Here we have, for example, People are dying because they drink too many sugary beverages. Now we'll go back to the paragraph and check. The solution is that they cannot buy them in restaurants and theaters in New York. If we go back here, see, he says, America's most deadly problems is sugary beverages. So we'll write and the Law now bans the sale of large size soft drinks. The solution in the cities: first, restaurants, and second, movie theaters. So now, more reading. I am very much in favor of this law, says Dr. Sheldon Ray, who specializes in diseases that are related to obesity. Over the years, I have noticed a dramatic increase in the number of children and adults who have serious weight problems. These people are putting themselves at risk of getting diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. So here, as well, we have quotation to look at. We have, I'm very much in favor be in favor. So, this person is with the law. He thinks that the law is good. Who is this person? This person is Dr. Sheldon Rafe. And he is a specialist in what diseases that are related to obesity. And we have one more Quotation here for the same person. He says that over the years I have noticed a dramatic increase in the number of children and adults who have till the last, till the end of the paragraph. He says that we have a problem and we have a consequences of this problem. We have children and adults, they have weight problems. And it's not only a matter of shape, but they are in risk of what? Diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. So copy. You only need to copy the words that show what Dr. Rafe is an expert in. So here you need to find a word that is similar to the word expert. To be expert in something, yes. To be a specialist in something, 
and to specialize in something. So we go back to our paragraph and look specifically for a term that is similar to the word expert. Yes, here we have specializes, right? So we copy it, who specializes in diseases that are related to obesity. See, we write the correct, the correct answer. Who specializes, because specializes is the clue. Expert specializes in diseases that are related to obesity. So now it is another important question. Give one example of an illness that is related to obesity. And please, when you sit for your bagru, do what you are asked for. One example, then only one example. Here more is less. So one example, one example. We go back to the paragraph and we see at the risk of getting what? Here we have the problems and then we have examples on these problems. So diabetes is one, disease, a heart disease is Another one, and cancer is a third option. But you are only allowed to write one example. You can choose the one you like. So here, any of these answers is correct, as I mentioned, but you need to remember to give only one, either diabetes, heart disease, or cancer. Despite the clear dangers of obesity, not all citizens are happy about Bloomberg's law. Why? They think it goes too far. They object to a law that tells them what they should or should not eat to drink. What's next? A restriction on the number of donuts you can buy? Asks reporter Pitts, general writer for the Miami Post newspaper. Here we have some important linking words and one important quotation. Here we have the word or the connector here, despite. Despite shows what? Contrast, something that doesn't go with what was mentioned previously. So despite the clear dangers of obesity, despite that we all know that obesity is bad, still not all citizens, residents, are happy. They are not for the law. They are against the law. Why? Because they, those who are not happy with the law, they goes back to the citizens who are not happy with the law. They think it exaggerates. It's too much. It goes too far. Because they think, okay, you cannot tell me what I should or shouldn't eat. And here we have a quotation, what's next, etc. And it is by the reporter, his name is Pitts. He is a reporter for the Miami Post newspaper. So this person, if you go back to your paper, is against the law. So here, what is the main idea in the previous Paragraph. Here we need to determine the main idea. How? By only completing a sentence. Some people think that Bloomberg's law, yes, you're right, goes too far. How can you uh, usually find the main idea? Usually, main ideas are at the beginning of a paragraph. So here, some people think that Bloomberg's law goes too far. It's an exaggeration. Let's move on. Mr. Pitts may have a point. He might be right. But another important linking word. The fact is that people will continue to consume more and more sugary beverages. If the size of portions 
is not reduced. It's time to make some practical decisions. So here we have another what? Quotation. Correct. By whom? By Dr. Rayev, the one we got introduced to in the previous paragraph. And he is right. He says that it's time to make some practical decisions. People, why? People are dying because of these sugary drinks. Sometimes we just have to help people to make healthier choices. Bloomberg's law is certainly a step in the right decision. So let's check the questions on this paragraph. What does Leonard Pitts mention? A restriction on the number of donuts you can buy. You, need, you see the language. Oh, you, can, you need to tell me how many donuts I'm to eat. So it is to show how ridiculous Bloomberg's law is or to explain what's happening in Miami, to emphasize what people shouldn't eat or to suggest an alternative to sugary drinks. So here, it's not only enough to uh, cross out uh, the uh, answers that we seem incorrect, but we need to know the terms. Here we need to know ridiculous. Yes, Sulu. Explain. Emphasize. And suggest alternative. Suggest other options. So from the language, we can infer. It's not directly stated, but we can infer that he wanted to show that Bloomberg's law is silly, and that's why he is against it. So the correct answer is to show how ridiculous Bloomberg's law is, and we use the heart of inferring because... We don't have a direct answer, but we had some clues. So now that's what we said. We need to know the words ridiculous, emphasize, and alternative. So the answer to our question is correct to show how ridiculous Bloomberg's law is. We can understand from the doctor's words, from the quotation of the doctor, that it is difficult for people to do what? Is it difficult for them to consume large portions? Believe me, not. It is difficult for them to change their habits. We need to check if we have another more suitable answer. To talk to Dr. Reyer, what for? Accept Bloomberg's law. Mm, this is not the thing, but it is. If you go back here, people are dying, but we have to help them make healthier choices. So it is difficult for them to change, and we need to help them change. From the whole article, what can we infer about the writer's opinion? Is he in favor? Yes, from the question, he is in favor. We say that the writer is in favor of Bloomberg's law because why? It, help, uh, it will help people choose a healthier lifestyle, cause people to consume more sugary beverages, encourage people to eat fewer donuts, or discourage people from eating in restaurants. Yes, you're right. We can make use of what here to answer our question? Mm -hmm. We can make use of the title healthier choices so accordingly the answer will be help people choose a healthier lifestyle so you can find the writer's opinion in the title why the writer is in favor of Bloomberg Law because it will help people so here we finish and now I think you can identify different points of view. You can answer multiple choice questions. You can identify main ideas. 
and you can use the hot of inferring to find answers. It was a pleasure for me to discuss this report for you with you and I hope you enjoyed the class. Stay home, stay safe and 